Brian, we've been parsing words uh, uh, from the Fed governors, and I, I have to agree. It sounds like what we're hearing is uh, the potential for a pushout of the uh, taper, perhaps not the end of this year, because of the Delta virus, uh, variant and, and some other indicators that have shown the economy has slowed down a bit. We've got a decline over the past three months in vehicle sales and parts, but you say that the customer demand should stay strong. What are your thoughts? That's right, because the reason that we're seeing the slowdown is not because demand is really tapered here. It's because we've got supply chain issues, right? You know, we know we have a global chip shortage. And, you know, really, if you look at chips now, semiconductors, it's kind of the modern oil, right? Everything runs on semiconductors. And this is a big problem that most companies are having is they just have supply shortages. It's not that demand has actually gone away, which I would argue that's where we're starting to see a little bit of that tapering demand. It's just because you can't buy stuff. Um, but what's interesting is, and I think this is important when you're building your investment portfolio, is you want to own companies that have pricing power. And the automotives do have pricing power. Maybe they sell less cars because they have less inventory, but they can re raise their prices on you and me, Maria. And that's critical. And I think that's really important when you're building your portfolio right now. If you look at Ford and General Motors, old school companies, they're up 45% and 15% respectively this year, but they trade dirt cheap right now. If you look at the Ford multiple, they trade it like seven times forward earnings versus the S&P at 22 times forward earnings. And what's really interesting is if you look at Tesla, Tesla trades at 140 times forward earnings, <laughs> but Ford's coming out with like an awesome electric vehicle, their F-150 Lightning, which just looks like a phenomenal car, uh, or truck rather. Um, right now, if you look at that specifically, they have 120,000 orders uh, from 100,000 orders earlier this year, and they can't keep up with the production of it. So you're going to see a lot of these old school car makers making their own electric vehicles, which makes me question, maybe you should own Tesla here, you should own the old school automakers. The only problem is, and Dennis is going to be upset about this, I don't think Ford accepts Bitcoin yet. So I'm sorry to say that. But other than that, I think it's a good buy here. <laughs> well, look, we're talking about we're talking about the macro story here.